Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. This is a video again about the ESP32 CAM module and image processing using Python and OpenCV. This time, we will learn about the method to detect hands and fingers using Python and ESP32 camera module. Later, using this technology, we will develop a gesture control virtual mouse. The ESP32 camera module along with the Python program can be used to control the mouse tracking and clicking operations wirelessly. To get started, one must have sound knowledge of Python, image processing, embedded systems, as well as Internet of Things. First, we'll understand how to control the mouse tracking and clicking. And we'll also see what all requirements are needed to run the Python program. We'll first test the whole Python script with a webcam or internal camera of laptop. In the second part, we'll use an ESP32 cam module and run the Python code. So the ESP32 cam will be used as an input device instead of PC camera or any other external camera. So without wasting any further more time, let's get started. Do you want professional PCB like this one that looks so good then use the service of next PCB. You can select the board size, any shoulder color marks that you want, including something like red and green. You can select the PCB thickness and the PCB could be from 2 to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your gutter file and order now and receive the PCB in couple of days. Welcome back again. This is an ESP32 based camera module developed by AI Thinker. The controller is based on 32 bit CPU and has a combined Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth or BLE chip. This is the OB2640 camera for photography, video or any other image processing application. The board also supports an SD card up to 4GB which can be used to store images and video. The board doesn't have an onboard programmer. So in order to program this board, you can use any type of USB to TTL converter module. Please follow this connection diagram for programming and use. The programming method and different modes of operation has been explained in earlier videos. Let's move back to the project part. Let's begin with a simple demo using the webcam of your computer. In order to get started, we need to have Python 3.8.7 library. After that, a system needs to have a webcam or a built-in laptop camera. These are only the basics for testing to find out whether our Python code is working or not. Apart from this, we need ESP32 CAM Wi-Fi module. Then Arduino IDE installed on your PC. A local Wi-Fi network is required so that the ESP32 CAM can communicate. So, Let's set up the software part now. First, we need to install Python version 3.8.7. So, go to this official website of Python and from here download the Windows x86 executable file. While installing, make sure to tick the option A2 path. Once all the installation completes, Go to the code. The code is available in our website article. Now to use this code, make sure to create a folder on your computer and save this python code as a track hand file. As you can see, there are few libraries in this code like OpenCV. Another one is MediaPy. The time and math library is something that comes uh, in built with python. After that, we are also using NumPy. In order to install this, simply open command prompt and write pip install opencv-python. As this is already installed in my system, in case if you haven't installed, you can install it. Similarly, we can also do for the media pipe. For that, type pip install media pipe. So again, all the requirements are satisfied as it's already installed in my system. Then 
we also need to install numpy for that type pip install numpy now something to note down when installing the python or any other libraries you can create a virtual environment for that go to command prompt and type pip install virtual env if someone has already installed it and it is not working then try to uninstall using this command and then again install it after that we just need to write this code which is virtual env slash path and uh, the location where the virtual environments need to be created apart from this there is also an autopy library which needs to be installed to do that type pip install autopy in my case it's already downloaded so all the libraries has been installed successfully moving to the project part this is just simple hand tracking code through this we'll try to understand how things are working so what we have done is we have created a class name as hand detector in this class we have a method to find the hand this will try to detect where the hands are using the media pipe library so the media pipe has some objects which will try to detect some hands and finger first we should try to detect where the hand is then we will find where the position is here we have a method to determine where the fingers are and here we can also calculate the distance between fingers now let's run the code and see whether it works or not this might take some time when you run it first so it has run successfully so this is my hand which is perfectly detected by the camera so let's understand how we will be doing our whole processing this is my index finger so i'll be moving my index finger to move the cursor so the cursor moves as my finger moves see this moving finger here now if i want to click my middle finger should be going down like this this way i will be clicking things so let's get started with testing now in order to test this we'll use another code which is available in website article in this code we'll import the same track hand file here we need to do special modification according to the system requirements because my webcam is 1280 cross 720 pixels which i need to change apart from this everything needs to be kept similar now in case if you are facing error your webcam is not able to capture change this number from 0 to 1 the number 0 is for internal camera and 1 is for the external camera so let's run this code again so here you see the image window with the dimension 1280 cross 720 pixels moving the finger in any direction will move the cursor as well slide it left or slide it right or maybe slide it up and down let me try and minimize this video for that move the cursor on the minimize icon and use your both finger to click on it so it's done now i'll try to close this done again now let's reopen it so it has been reopened again this way you can have full control now i can also full screen this so everything looks uh, working so far this is my other hand and i am not using any mouse right now all right you can try this sample program as well i believe you might have understood this to move further will require an esp32 device this is the esp32 camera module that i would be using instead of computer camera the connection 
and the method to program has been explained in the article already. So you can follow it. Now go to the Arduino ID and make sure you have installed ESP32 CAM library. From here, go to the Wi-Fi CAM. So in this code, replace the Wi-Fi SSID and password from here with the same Wi-Fi network that your PC is connected to. So moving to the code part, we are running on two servers that are the high GPG on low JPG. JPG is an image format. Connect your ESP32 CAM to the PC. Go to Tools. Select ESP32 Developer Module and then select COM port. Then upload the code. Before uploading, connect the IO0 jumper to the ground and put the device in programming mode. Once uploaded, remove the IO0 jumper and press the reset button. It should show the camera OK message. It means the device is fine. Now here, you can see the IP address of the ES broadcasted by ESP32 CAM module. Copy this URL and paste it to any of the web browser. Let's change to the high GPG. Hit enter. So the camera has detected my hand. If I refresh it, the camera will give another frame. So the ESP32 CAM is working and is ready to transmit data. Now copy the IP address and we'll do some modifications to the code again. I have given the modified code in the website articles, hence you need to copy the final code. In this section, modify the WCAM and HCAM variable according to Arduino code. So it is here as 800 by 600. Similarly, I will change the frame rate to 30. Now, let's run the code. So, here it is. The image is processed from ESP32 camera and the device is perfectly able to detect hand and finger. The code in the changes as per the hand gestures. And I am able to minimize the window or move the cursor left right or use this gesture feature as virtual mouse. This is really amazing that you can use the image recognition feature using ESP32 CAM and OpenCV. All the information related to the project can be found on website article of How to Electronics. The ESP32 CAM library, Python code and all other details are found here. You can read the article if something is not clear from the video. You can also comment down in the video section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next episode.